Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first I'm starting off with some white face paint as the base for everything. Uh, as you can tell by the title, this is a Joker tutorial based on the Joaquin Phoenix uh, Joker movie that's coming up next year. Uh, make sure you get an, an even layer as much as you can, but even if there's some smudging, that's fine because that's kind of like the Joker's thing. Uh, where you know he looks like messy and uneven and all of that stuff so just keep on blending until you like the way it looks As you can tell here, I'm blending it up to my forehead and I wanted to leave a space between my hairline and the white, where the white paint starts because that's kind of how the Joker has it. It's not really accurate um, and neat. So you just gotta leave a little bit, just a small space between your hairline and where the white color starts. And you can just do that with the edge of your sponge since I'm using a beauty sponges, the Real Techniques one. Next, I'm taking a red color and mixing it a little bit with black to start drawing on the Joker's signature smile. And I noticed in the Joaquin Phoenix test footage, uh, he had one side that was straight going out of his um, edge of his lip straight outwards and the other one was kind of pointing upwards more. So that's what I tried to do. But you'll notice later on that I kind of felt like it was uh, the lines were too thick and I kind of messed up. So I took it off and started over with the white base and, you know, fixing the reds again. And don't forget to fill it in and make sure you get like a really dark, bloody, muddied out red. And it's fine to mess up, you know, it, it, it's not supposed to be that accurate. But um, yeah, I messed up and I redid it again to the way that I liked it. You can see here that I'm redoing the smile lines and I'm making them thinner and more preferable to the way I want them to look and then I fix the white uh, with a really thin brush along the edges. Uh, we're gonna make it messy later on anyway so don't worry about how you know how perfect your lines are or all that stuff. Next, I'm taking a translucent powder uh, to set everything that I've done so far so that the white doesn't mix with the blue or any other colors you might be using on top of it because these face paint, this is like kids pa face paint so it might be a little bit oily and you'll feel like the colors are mixing in together and instead of you know getting um, dark blue or dark red, it starts mixing in and becoming lighter colors and we don't want that so just set it lightly uh, with some translucent powder. Next, I'm starting to draw the triangles around his eyebrows and I'm using, again, uh, the blue mixed in with a little black to get that really dark, kind of uh, muddied, you know, old Joker type color. And I'm just drawing a triangle above my eyebrow and around my eyebrow. And then I'm gonna do the triangle underneath my eye 
and just make it look like it's it's dripping or it's smudged you know and just do it as much as thick or as thin as you want here it came out with me too thick so i wiped it off and did it again you know as i said it's okay to mess up you know it's it's that's the point of the joker is just that it has to look messy so do it to your preference uh it's fine to mess up and redo stuff Next, I'm moving on to my other eye, and I'm just doing, it's not actually a triangle, it's like a curved a half circle, uh, just make it as messy as you'd like, and I'm using the same dark blue color I've mixed in already, and underneath th this eye, you also do the same thing, like a kind of triangle, kind of like rounded shape uh, underneath the eye. Moving on to the nose, it's really simple. Just uh, do it, take the red mixed within the black and around your nostrils and the, just the tip of your nose. Uh, you can make it into a specific shape if you like, but it's just that signature, you know, red clown nose that you want to achieve. Moving on to the eyebrows, they're like a slug kind of shape. They're not really defined or anything. They're just like um, curved kind of small tubes of uh, red. So just draw them on above the blue and make them as messy as you want because they looked messy in the footage that I saw. And we're gonna later mess them up some more uh, after we're done. Here I'm beginning the messing up the artwork type process. I just took a stiff blending brush and I started to just, you know, touch it around the edges, uh, pull some of the colors out, smudge it as much as I want. <laughs> 